In this video, we would see how to deploy a Maven built artifact to a repository in JFrog Artifactory. And also, we would see how to resolve 401 unauthorized access server while uploading Maven artifacts to Artifactory. We already have seen what are the different types of repository in Artifactory. So, we have three types of repositories local repository, remote repository, and virtual repository. When we download the artifacts from Artifactory, we use virtual repositories. And when we upload the artifacts, we use local repositories. In this video, we will see how to upload Maven artifacts to a Maven local repository in Artifactory. Let us start. So, before uploading the artifacts using Maven build, let us log into the Artifactory. After logging in, we need to select the Artifactory section. And here we need to click on Artifacts. So here we can see various repositories. So in this video, we will use the local repository for uploading Maven artifact. Here we have two types of local repositories. One is snapshot and there is releases. So let us use snapshot repository in this video. So let me click on this snapshot. So there is an option called set me up here. So we can click on it. Here if we select deploy option, then it will give us the distribution management section. So this distribution management section is very important when we upload any artifacts via maven form.xml. So we have to copy this and paste it in our form.xml. Now let us go to the example application and we will copy this distribution management section to the form.xml. So here we have mentioned the snapshot repository id and corresponding url. So now when we build the artifact and if we deploy the artifact, it will be uploaded to this URL. So let me save this file and execute maven deploy command. So here I will open a command window. Now I will execute maven clean deploy command. So now as part of the build, maven deploy plugin is getting executed and it is trying to upload the artifact to artifact to local repository. But here we can see that it is failed because of 401 unauthorized access. So to solve this issue, we need to mention the artifact server details in the settings.xml. So let me go to the settings.xml now. So let me open the settings.xml under user.m2 folder. So here under server section, we need to mention a new server. So now we need to mention the ID of this server. This ID should match with the corresponding ID in the distribution management section. So let me copy the ID here and I will paste the ID here. So now for uploading the artifact, we need to mention the user and password. We have already created a user in Artifactory to upload the Maven artifacts to Artifactory. If you want to know more about how the user is created and how the permissions are attached to the user, please go through the link in the description section. So here we need to mention corresponding user. So now we have the details of the server ID where we are going to deploy. So let me save this. So let me execute maven clean deploy again. So now we can see that we have successfully uploaded the artifact to the maven local repository in Artifactory. So in this video we have seen how to upload a maven artifact to a maven local repository in Artifactory. And also we have seen how we have solved the issue of 401 unauthorized access while uploading the artifact. I hope this video will help you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.